What is good YouTube? Your boy Shuba here with another sneaker review. So like I promised you from my last video, I said I was not gonna review a sneaker that was Boost or an Adidas affiliated sneaker. Here today, I do have the Vans Skate High El Pato Edition. When these came in, I was super excited because although they're like an ugly, you know, an ugly shoe, but for the purpose that I'm using them, I like that it's these that I'm using and not messing up my beautiful sneakers that I love to wear almost all the time. Many are probably asking why I chose to go ahead and view the sneaker one i wasn't seeing that many videos out there and two the weather gets pretty nasty here in salem oregon and i wanted a sneaker that i could still wear look fashionable and or if i'm traveling or commuting somewhere hypothetically speaking if i'm going to work or if i'm going somewhere and i'm not trying to wear you know my boost or get the prime knit affected i'd want to wear something that is both water repellent and weatherized for the condition of the weathers that i'm facing so shout out to vans for constructing that let's take a look at the sneaker i'll give you guys a quick 360 and if you guys can tell this is the reverse waffle design i'll show you what the original vans one looks like right here and this is the reverse waffle outsole this is my personal pair. I am going to wear these, obviously, because the weather is going to get pretty nasty and hopefully it doesn't snow. But if it snows, then I'm going to wear these. Uh, one, because it is waterproof, meaning no water should be able to penetrate the sneaker. Is this considered a boot? Is this considered a sneaker? So we have the Vans outsole and then we have the Skate High silhouette, but we've got what's called a duck boot. The name of the sneaker is Vans Skate High El Pato. El Pato means the duck in Spanish. How do I know that? Because I know Spanish. Anywho, so yes, as you can see in the back, we do have a pull tab or heel tab. Just because they provided this doesn't mean that the sneaker is hard for you to slide your foot in it because it isn't. Just loosen these up. The suede part of the upper is actually connected with a stretchable band. You can pull it to the left and right or to the side and then just slide your foot in and it's comfortable. Front of the sneaker, the by the toe box, all the way to the bottom part of both medial and lateral sides, as you can see right here. This is actually canvas that helps waterproof the sneaker. And one thing that's interesting about this material is that when I first looked at this sneaker online, I thought that the suede, although they kept saying that it is waterproof, I was thinking that the canvas was gonna be way more waterproof than the suede. You'll see that the suede material is actually more waterproof and that's really impressive. So outsole is rubber, reverse waffle cone. And if you guys can see the tread on the outsole, is actually protruding in other words it stands out right this helps with traction grip slip resistance when you're walking on tough floors tough ground anything like that uneasy if you're taking them hiking if you're taking them somewhere where it's just nasty streets the nasty floor level doesn't look right so the comfort is going to be different obviously compared to boost because boost is life and comfort is king we already know that and one thing you gotta recognize though for sure that even though it is a duck boot designed sneaker one of the highest most popular brands vans designed this sneaker Pretty dope. Okay. It's a duck boot with the Vans brand. One reason I wanted to go ahead and get this Vans edition is because I'm kind of a hype beast <laughs> and everybody's getting to all these old school models and I thought, well, what's an old school model, whether it be Vans, whether I get Chucks, whether I get, you know, Tim's, anything like that, that will protect me for these bad weathers in Salem, Oregon, because they can get pretty nasty and I'm not really about that. So I thought, you know what? I narrowed down the search and I was able to cop these off zoomies.com for buy one, get one 50% off. Bought two pairs, nine and a half or nine. So in Adidas, I'm a size nine, in Nike and Jordan, I'm a size nine and a half. And in Vans, apparently, here's the trippiest part about it. In Vans Skate High Originals, right? I'll show you a picture of what those Vans Skate High Originals look like. I'm a nine and a half. The only reason I'm a nine and a half is because the front portion, like right at the beginning of the toe box, for on my foot though, is wider than it is in the back portion or even at the toe portion. Don't think I have a bunion, I don't have bunions, but it's just wider, that's just the way our bone structure is or my bone structure is, because some people have it differently. One would assume that the toe box on the sneaker is more water resistant than the actual suede, but it's actually the opposite. That's what impressed me by far when it came to you know trying these on and obviously I had to do a water test because it says it's completely waterproof. This ain't no water resistant, it's not water repellent, 
Pail, it's waterproof, meaning you're not supposed to be able to get any bit of water inside that sneaker when you're wearing it. The only questions that I do have is during the part, because it's not that far, it's maybe like about this high, that band that I was talking about that you stretch out to put your foot in. I'm wondering if that material was treated with the same, and the material that the product that they used on it was actually Scotch Guard. Scotch Guard is famous for applying it, whether it be on Tim's or even other products. Scotch Guard will apply the little treatment on it, and both the suede. The canvas should already be waterproof, but with the scotch card, it like enhances it double time. All right, so if you can recognize it, it is a skate high model, except it is designed differently because it's got the El Pato form or the duck boot form of the canvas from the toe box leading to some of the bottom part of the upper. The second material that they use, and I believe it may be just three pieces because we've got the upper, right? That's one whole piece that was put together. Then we have the tongue portion and that band that is stitched together. And then we have the canvas in the front. So it's a three piece upper from both medial and lateral sides. You see that it's suede. And on the sides, you'll see that there is no wave as usual Vans. And I'll show you what the Vans Skate High original looks like with the wave. They still provide that in other Skate High editions, but those Skate High editions do not have any Scotch Guard film treated onto the upper. These are specific for certain weather conditions that people will endure. All right, so that's pretty much all I can say about this sneaker you see the rope laces in the inside you're gonna see the size tag the size tag is actually to the middle part so you're not gonna be able to see that even with the sneaker if I unlace them and I'll show you guys they have a label right here to confirm that it is Scotch Guard like I had mentioned and all that's left now is for me to do the water test so y'all know how I get with water tests <laughs> I'll be having too much fun, you know. Yeah, nothing too crazy about this sneaker. I like it though because it's good for, you know, sturdy use. We got the heel tab in the back, really firm heel tab too. So if you people struggle to put on some skate highs or even these specific El Pato shoes, that pull tab is gonna help you out. Untampered with water, it's real water, guys. <laughs> real water, all right? So I'm gonna put this sneaker on this side. If you guys know I like doing this part, Let's see. We'll try the canvas first. And the reason I say that the upper is more resistant is because some of the water particles will stay in the canvas. So the black on the upper is gonna look darker than it actually is. Now we're gonna try, oh, you can see unaffected. The water particles are still on top of the canvas. Cool. Now we'll try it on the suede. As you saw, the sneaker did not get wet. The water is all the bottom. If you guys can tell, the water just bounces off the sneaker. Just slid off, guys, it's crazy. No crep added at all. And I touch it, I can feel the water, obviously, my, wa my fingers are gonna absorb the water, but the sneaker itself, it's dry. You can tell that the suede upper changes colors like a tiny bit. Nothing too wide. I wouldn't want it to change completely light black. I like it, you know, whether it be from super pitch black on the upper or just lighter black. It doesn't really matter to me because when I wear these, I'm gonna wear them and I'm gonna beat them up. So I'm gonna wear them during horrible weathers. But yeah, guys, here's a sneaker like I promised y'all. Vans Skate High El Pato or Duck Boot edition let me know what you guys think about the sneaker would you get it would you guys buy this sneaker would you wear this sneaker it's whatever to each their own you know remember that guys whenever you're buying a sneaker don't ever go by the hype don't ever go by what somebody else is wearing but yeah let me know how you like this sneaker if you guys feel it or not i like it i'm gonna be wearing it the weather is horrible out there yeah till next time guys peace